Remember Windows ME? Millennium Edition from the year 2000? Or as we also used to call it, Y2K? The 1980s just called, they want their computer back. Yes, this computer. You recognize that, but uh, do you recognize that? And the HD, you see the little HD there? Does not stand for high definition. It stands for high density. It's a floppy disk. Yeah, this is what I grew up on. Well, actually, we had some larger floppies than that, too, before these. It was the five and a quarter. This is the three and a half inch floppy. So you pop that sucker in there. Let me come over here. I made some, uh, well, I pulled some files from this computer, just random uh, generic files that came with the operating system, apparently. And it fits perfectly onto the floppy, if it works. Uh, I think the heads need to be cleaned on this floppy drive. Also, a lot of floppies may have gone bad. Uh, it's just magnetic media, but I, you know, who knows? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the issue is. But a lot of them, it'll do this. It'll, it'll wanna format it. So I'd, I'm sure the heads need to be cleaned on that, uh, on this drive right here because I had to blow a lot of dust out of this thing. And I tried to open it up, but it, uh, it, it looked like I would break it if I tried to open that thing up. So, yeah. This thing's unbelievably slow, as you'll see. I hit yes to format the drive. It's just hanging there. The little green light is on on the floppy drive. No sound coming from it. And then just now, this pops up. It took that long. So I'm gonna try and do just the 720 kilobyte full start. And there's keyboard shortcuts, so what I was actually doing uh, when I was doing a bunch of these in a row, I was just doing the sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. You know, down arrow, uh, what was it, Alt F, Alt S, something like that. And it would, it was a lot quicker than using the mouse, which I learned, you know, pretty early on in my computer days. Um, there we go. So this takes a while to format. I think it takes like three minutes or something ridiculous. Um, or no, well, I should have set a timer again. Maybe it only takes a minute. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take three minutes. I'll meet you again in three minutes or whenever, whenever this thing's done. <laughs> oh boy and this is uh how it was going uh so many of these things or maybe the drive itself were failing again i, I don't know it could be a little bit of both maybe maybe these old discs are just not doing too well but i wish i had something to like a very long q-tip i need uh hmm maybe a virus test type of long q-tip <laughs> to stick in the floppy drive with some 99 percent isopropyl alcohol to clean the heads one there's one above and one below to clean on the on this you know a three and a half inch uh floppy drive so what to do you oh, what is it doing now Uh, 
Yeah, you click that, it's frozen. Cannot be formatted. Yeah, sure. Um, let's try again. It's probably too much work, really. Uh, I did want to get these donated so that, you know, people that are into retro tech can actually use them. Because I know people are people are into this, and I can see why. I mean, it's uh, it's fun to live, relive nostalgia and stuff like that. Um, there it goes. One little trick I've been using. Pop it out. And then when I go to take an action. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Makes these funny sounds. Oh yeah, I, I found if I did the high density, the 1.44 meg, sometimes that would work. So I pop it in there while it's trying to do that. Maybe it snaps it in there and gets some momentum going. I don't know. Sometimes that gave me more success than the not. Yeah. Take two. It's funny the sounds it makes. When it makes that sound, it always says creating file system when it's towards the end of this uh, format. And I always check this, that third line, zero bytes and bad sectors. Kind of a good sign so far. We'll see if that's the truth. So I grabbed, oh, actually this was for the, uh, uh, when, you know, when I would format it with the smaller amount, we did the higher amount, the HD, the uh, 1.44 meg. So I just, uh, I, I just come over here and grab this and drop it onto drive A and off it goes. That should fill it up. It's just filler data, so if there's anything on the drive before that some crazy hacker could get to, even though, I mean, my I, I don't really trust this hard, this uh, floppy drive that I have uh, to, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure that when it says that the drive needs to be formatted, because I, I've, sometimes I pop it in three or four times in a row, and then on the third or fourth time it reads the disc so it could just be dirty like i say um that having been said when it writes the data to these floppy these floppy disks and then i read the files it it's pulling up the files and it's displaying the image or the text file so I've verified that it actually is writing to these disks and it's actually filling them up. Uh, but this is how I'm making sure that if there was any data, even if I'm not able to access that data, if there was any data that maybe a hacker could get to, I'm overwriting it all, all of it on that disk. So I, I come over here to drive A and I just kind of check it out. This is what I like to see, free, zero bytes. And there's that uh, folder we drug over. Uh, it's just a bunch of garbage, you know? I just figured out how to fill it up with uh, a bunch of baloney, you know? So now I take the disc 
and uh, at this point, filled up with uh, baloney data, bogus data, whatever you want to call it, filler, and then I take my ham radio mag mount antenna. It's got a very powerful magnet, and <laughs> I can't do this one-handed, but I I rub that floppier around in circles. Uh, going, I guess it would be counterclockwise. It doesn't matter, but I just stay consistent and I go counterclockwise. I flip it over to the other side, counterclockwise again, about six to eight times. And I try and make, I start with little circles and then spread out to large circles because the shape of the magnet on the antenna here. Well, let's see here if I can show you. You can see the magnet is just kind of on the outside of the circle. So once I realized that, I was like, okay, I gotta start with small circles and then to big circles or big circles to small. But that covers all the area on this floppy. And once you do that, and honestly, just the little bit that we did there, I mean, I just kind of touched it to this thing and just watch what happens. So I hit uh, what is it, F5 to refresh the screen. And then it, yeah, we got the little hourglass and it can't read it now. So, you know, that's my process for getting these floppies about as erased as I'm comfortable with. And if I had two, uh, very many more of these, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I would just, uh, rub the magnet on it and call it good. <laughs> you know, I kind of went above and beyond here. Um, I don't know if there was any data that, you know, I don't try and figure out, I don't really try and figure out, was there, was there social security numbers or, you know, uh, anything I don't want getting out. Um, you know, there's the, the known unknowns and then there's the unknown unknowns. And so I try and protect against the unknown unknowns as well. So I don't, I don't try and figure out all, you know, how somebody's going to get my data. I just, I just try and delete the data the best I can. And that's my logic. That's my philosophy with that. Uh, so the next project is going to be to take this disc because I am pretty much done with the floppies now, but I've got this, uh, driver race boot CD from uh, about 15 years ago. And Gonna see about deleting some hard drives on these older computers so that I can get those donated as well. So the adventure continues. That's all I got for you today. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. And we'll see you all later.